Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this Geek Pro 3.0. Now, compared to 2.0, with 3.0, it's not like it's got a new sensor or anything. It's just got a LCD display in the front. And just about everything else is identical, including the casing, too. Uh, here's everything that came in the box, which is this package right here. Everything fits in here. And the package is just like the before. It has a mesh, a mesh net on top over here. And one thing it did not come with is a second battery. And so besides that, it's nearly identical with Geek, Geek Pro 2.0. Now with this LCD screen, looking at it when I'm shooting, I can see when it's recording, how long it's been recording, what's the resolution also. Like just too many things to name, name off. There's like bike, number of attachments, an open bracket, waterproof housing, which I will show momentarily, a uh, strap, straps, more attachments. Any sort of the accessories you have for a GoPro, it will work with the Geek Pro too. It's the same type of connector. And there's an AC adapter that came with it too. That we work for this AC adapter. It's 100 to 240 volts output at 5 volt, 1 amp. And here's a USB adapter. Now look at look at this Geek Pro. Currently I have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card by Kingston, class 10. And also on this side we have HDMI and the micro USB port for charging and the speaker. On top we have the microphone and the shutter. So this I can use this to control whether I want to take videos, take snapshots. On this side is to enable the Wi-Fi. Or if I'm in a menu system, if I press this, it just goes back a selection. Um, back in on the front, right under the LCD, is the power, or when power is turned on, I press this turn on to switch the modes. On, the on bottom, here's the battery compartment. On the back is the LCD display. Pretty clear LCD display. I'm going to turn this on here. Hold it down for about two seconds. And let go, and it just powers up. Now, in the past, other folks asked if I can just show them the menu system, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to just press the mode. And also on the front, you can see that it says 12 megapixel wide. And currently it's on, it's on pictures. So I can take 8,900 pictures, burst, time lapse symbol right here. And here's the menu system. Oh, playback, photo, setting. I'm going to just show off the settings first. Now we have video resolution. There's only two video re resolutions. We have the 1080p at 30 frames or 720 at 60 frames. Now there's loop recording. And that I can say that I want to, if say the card's full, in that case it could delete the oldest one to make room for a later one. I don't want that right now, but here's a timestamp, exposure, photo resolution, burst, time lapse, I can choose. Let's see, it's two, three, five, ten, uh, quite a few selections, up to 60 seconds. Then continuous lapse, power frequency, language, date time, stamp, uh, with oh, date type selection, time stamp was pre previously, this is date time selection, sound indicator, upside down, screen saver, power saver, format the SD card, micro SD card actually, reset the unit, and the version. This is the version I'm using right now. In a clip I'll be playing shortly, it was recorded with the Geek Pro 3 in their waterproof housing. So I was in a pool with my son for over an hour, perhaps an hour and a half. Uh, the camera was on most of the time, and no problem with the battery life. And having the LCD display in the front did make shooting easier because I can just hold it out like a selfie type of style. And I can see what resolution is at, and more importantly, down here, I can see how many minutes I've been recording. Uh, it functioned well indoors. It functioned well underwater, lighting was fine, and I have absolutely no complaints about it. One other thing I'd like to show is the Wi-Fi. I'm going to press this Wi-Fi button, and now it says waiting for Wi-Fi connection. And on my smartphone, here I got an iPhone, so I head to my settings menu, and I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi that's being broadcasted from here. In the front you can see the Wi-Fi symbol, just oscillating. And it's called iCam G3. I'm gonna cl click there. The default password, I believe, is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And now it's connected to that Wi-Fi. I'm gonna head out, and I'm gonna lo go launch their app. Their app is Easy iCam for the iOS. 
It's available in the iOS App Store and it's free. So I'm going to launch this. And if I have one camera, I'm going to click into it. So this is a live stream right now. Hey, how's it going? And let me just head back here. Uh, there's also video editing, which is quite interesting. So with this video editing, it will read video, not on the micro SD card, but it will read all the videos that's on my iPhone. So I can download the videos from the micro SD card that's in the Geek Pro 3 to my iPhone and just trim the video. On the technical front, there's not much difference between the Geek Pro 2 and the Geek Pro 3 besides the front LCD display in the box. It did not come with the additional battery, which the Geek Pro 2 did, but still my favorite accessories are the open bracket with a tripod adapter on the bottom and also the tripod adapter on the bottom for this one here. And I'll, be, I'll use these two the most even with the Geek Pro 2. With the Geek Pro 3, I see myself using those the most too. Uh, besides that, the quality is good. Uh, very convenient that I can stream the content to my iPhone and also offload the video from this card to my iPhone too. And I would recommend this unit. Well, thanks for watching this review of the Geek Pro 3. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Oprah Hamster. Bye.